Hello and welcome to Storytime Online. My name is Miss Debbie and I'm a Youth Program Specialist at the Orange County Library System. Our theme today is Halloween and our story time is geared for children ages 3 to 5 and we'll model the five early literacy practices of every child ready to read. So jump right in and let's have some fun. We're going to start off with our hello song, which is We Clap and Sing Hello. If you know the words, you can go ahead and sing along with me, but just go ahead and clap along, and you can also follow the words along on the screen. Here's how it goes. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. We're going to wave this time. Hello, all my friends. Hello, all my friends. We're here today to learn and play hello. All my friends. Thank you for singing that hello song with me. As I said, our theme today is Halloween. And all of our stories and songs will be themed around Halloween. I love Halloween. Do you also love Halloween? What is your very favorite part of Halloween? Yes, I knew you would say that. Putting on a costume, going trick-or-treating, and getting lots of candy. What else do you like about Halloween? Bats and witches and skeletons. Those are all great parts of Halloween, but do you know what my favorite part of Halloween is? I'm gonna give you a clue. You can look up here on my board. That's right, pumpkins. I love going to the pumpkin patch and picking out my very favorite pumpkin. They come in so many sizes and shapes. It's a lot of fun. Now, do you know what letter of the alphabet the word pumpkin begins with? Listen very carefully as I say it. Pumpkin. What sound did you hear? That's right. It starts with the letter P. And what sound does the letter P make? Right. It's like a little puff of air between your lips. P can you do that with me? P and that's the sound the letter P makes. Now put your finger in front of your lips and you can feel the letter P. Let's do it one more time. P now let's say the word pumpkin together. This is a very special word because it actually has two P sounds in it. So I want you to listen for the two P sounds and also feel them with your finger in front of your lips. Let's say pumpkin together. Pumpkin. One more time, pumpkin. Did you feel it? Did you hear it? Now we're gonna practice writing the letter P. To write the letter P, we're gonna start at the top. We're gonna draw a line down. We're gonna go back to the top, make a circle, but don't go all the way around. Stop when you get to your line. And that's how you write the letter P. Let's write it in the air together. Put your finger in front of you, just a little bit to the side of your face, and we'll practice it together. We're gonna make a line down, go to the top, circle around, and stop at your imaginary line. Let's do it one more time. Now when you circle around, you're gonna go away from your face. So we're gonna go down, back to the top, circle around, and stop. You now know how to write the letter P. Now I need some help counting all these pumpkins in my pumpkin patch. Do you guys see how many pumpkins there are? Five? Well, let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. That's right, there are five pumpkins in my pumpkin patch. Can you put up five fingers? All right, we're going to say a little rhyme, and it goes like this. Five little pumpkins on the ground. Five little pumpkins, big and round. Along comes a child to take one home. How many do you see now? Yes, four little pumpkins sit all alone. Let's count those together too. One, two, three, and four. Can you put up four fingers? Four little pumpkins on the ground. Four little pumpkins, big and round. Along comes a child to take one home. How many pumpkins are there now? Let's count them together. Three little pumpkins sit all alone. One, two, three. I just put up three fingers and let's do it again. Say it with me this time. 
Three little pumpkins on the ground. Three little pumpkins, big and round. Along comes a child to take one home. How many are left? That's right. Two little pumpkins sit all alone. Let's say it again. Two little pumpkins on the ground. Two little pumpkins, big and round. Along comes a child to take one home. And one little pumpkin sits all alone. We have to say it one more time. So be sure and say it with me this time. One little pumpkin on the ground. One little pumpkin, big and round. Along comes a child to take it home. And no little pumpkin sit all alone. Thank you for saying that rhyme with me and counting my pumpkins in the pumpkin patch. Caregivers, we talked about Halloween. Children learn language by listening to and talking with adults. When you engage your child in meaningful conversations, they are learning vocabulary, sentence structure, and the art of conversation. We practiced writing the letter P. One of the things you can do to help boost your child's pre-writing skills at home is to have pencils, crayons, and paper available for your child. Whenever they write, color, and doodle, they are using the same lines and shapes that they will use later to form letters when writing. And we counted pumpkins in the pumpkin patch. Being able to immediately recognize groups of objects and how many there are in groups of one to five without counting them is a skill that children need to know before they start to kindergarten. So whenever you make these counting games available to them, you're helping them to master that skill. All right, we're gonna sing a little song and I need all of you to help me with this song. It is interactive. We're gonna go walking on Halloween. So you can walk on your knees like I'm doing with your hands or if you want to stand up and walk in place, you can do that also. Now we're going to see a couple of things as we're walking along on Halloween. The first thing we're going to see is a cat. So we're going to put our claws out and you can hiss if you want. We're going to be a cat. Then we're going to walk along some more. The next thing we're going to see is an owl. So if you put your fingers on top of your head, owls have those little tufts of feathers that look like ears or horns. You can put those up there. And did you know that owls cannot move their eyes? So we're going to move our whole head. Hoo, hoo. Next thing we're going to see as we're walking along is a bat. So go ahead and cross your arms at the wrists and put your hands out. This is going to be your bat. And then we're going to walk along again. And this time we're going to see a witch. And the witch is stirring her brew. All right, we're going to walk along again. And this time we're going to see a ghost. So you can just put your hand up like it's floating like a ghost. All right, are you ready to sing our song? All right, here we go. We're going to go walking. Went for a walk on Halloween. I saw a cat, but it didn't see me. Here we go again. Went for a walk on Halloween. I saw an owl, who, who, but it didn't see me. Went for a walk on Halloween. I saw a bat, but it didn't see me. Went for a walk on Halloween. I saw a witch, but she didn't see me. Went for a walk on Halloween, I saw a ghost and it saw me run. And then he said, don't worry, I'm a friendly ghost and I just want to play. Whew. Thank you for singing that song and taking a walk with me. Caregivers, when children use their imaginations for play, they are using all of the pre-literacy skills that they have learned. And one of those is narrative skills or how to tell a story. Our story today is about a little ghost who just wants to play. Let's find out what happens. 
There once was a little ghost who lived on the hill and a little old house, quiet and still. The house was empty, the halls were dark and gray. Except for grumpy spiders, there was no one to play. So little ghost agreed to leave his beloved old house and he went to live with Mr. and Mrs. Mouse. He played with the babies under a sky of blue, but at night the burrow was crowded and a bit smelly too. So he flew across the cornfield where Scarecrow stood tall, shooing away pests, both large and small. He shooed away some crows with a timid little boo and chased away a raccoon and mother possum too. Though he stood steady through the sun, wind, and rain, he didn't know how to play, for he didn't have a brain. As the moon was rising higher in the sky, a colony of bats flew quickly by. Darting and swooping on wings spread wide, they were slurping up mosquitoes while flying side by side. A little ghost joined in the hunt, swooping to the left and swooping to the right, but he didn't like bugs and departed mid-flight. To the graveyard he flew on the harvest moon. He danced with skeletons and an old witch's broom. When daylight came and chased away the dew, the little ghost knew exactly what to do. Quicker than a rocket to the hill he flew, back to the little old house and the grumpy spiders too. Home at last, the place he loved most. Yes, things were looking good. It's great to be a ghost. I think our little ghost is going to have plenty of new friends to play with. What do you think? Aim to read with your children for 20 minutes each day and make reading time enjoyable. Children who enjoy reading together will be eager to learn to read on their own. We have a lot of Halloween books at the Orange County Library System and I hope you make it in soon to find your very favorite. Can't make it to the library? Don't worry. Request those books online and we'll deliver them to your doorstep as a free service of the Orange County Library System. We have one last song I want to sing with you. Singing helps children to remember. So when you can put those basic concepts like counting and colors into a song, it's going to help your child to remember them. We're going to sing about our right hand and our left hand. Caregivers, if you can help your child find their right hand, and left hand. We're going to go right hand, left hand, round and round, left hand, right hand, pound, pound, pound. I'll sing the song slowly the first time and then we'll sing it a little bit quicker and you can join in for the second time. This is my right hand, I'll hold it high. This is my left hand, I'll touch the sky. Right hand, left hand, round and round. Left hand, right hand, pound, pound, pound. Very good. Now we're going to speed it up. Start with our right hand, put your right hand up. All right, here we go. This is my right hand, I'll hold it high. This is my left hand, I'll touch the sky. Right hand, left hand, round and round. Left hand, right hand, pound, pound, pound. Thank you so much for joining me today for story time. I've had fun and I hope you've had fun too. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye everyone.